That's what we're doing. Okay, okay. You know, yeah, pull, can we pull away by and down and, and back off a bit so we can see everything that's going on? And to the left a bit, left a bit. Okay, Ben, left. you pull your guys out. They're pull being my guys back now. Okay, right, pull ben. more back, pull more back yeah. up the hill. Stephen sees the danger and immediately usurps control of forces on the hill. Recognizing the Helvetii trap, he orders the troops to retreat. But it may be too late. The Roman cavalry have already taken heavy losses and the Roman infantry are out of formation. Now they've figured it out. The team have figured out that their skirmishers were being drawn away and they've pulled their skirmishers back. Okay. Now you can see on screen back in. Back in. how your losses are doing, the percentage losses. Back in. Okay, so, so far the numbers reveal that both sides have taken losses, but the casualties are still fairly evenly matched. Mike, okay. on the bottom left of pulling back. There, on your right. Yeah. Uh, guys, I've got people coming in from the... I've got people coming in from my right flank. Suddenly, the Helvetii cavalry ambush is sprung. The team leap into action. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Okay, pan to the right. Do you want me to pull back? Pull, no, no, just keep where you are. Keep where you are. Uh, your formation is good. Your formation is good. There comes, there comes a load over from this side. Three units of Helvetii cavalry charge out from the ambush site and storm towards the Roman positions. In their rush to defend against the surprise attack, the team fail to notice that more enemy troops still lie in wait in the woods. Stephen, are you seeing the whole picture? Are you using all your men effectively? Yeah, I've, I've got all my guys are just holding there. David, pull them in and around. Pull them in and around. Expecting the cavalry to attack his troops in the valley, Stephen repositions his men on the right flank. But the ambushing cavalry bypass the main Roman force and unleash a ferocious charge against the team's hilltop troops. The light Roman force is not up to the assault. Outnumbered and outmaneuvered, the side buckles under the attack. The archers should be continuously shooting. They've left their uh, missiles out of the battle. Their archers... Yeah, they haven't used their archers their at all. Their are, are yeah. too far away mm. to do the job they should be doing. And that was an error in the planning stage. They, they, they should have worked out the ranges of these weapons and worked out where to deploy them accordingly. They, had, they held them far too far back. Mate, if the archers have your tea break, can we, uh, can we pull can out again? back on the job? While Simon struggles to control his troops, his archers and slingers are run down by Helvetii cavalry. The whole problem is I can't see anything with the David. screen. All you need to worry about is what is on that computer screen. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Okay. Yep. Slowly move yours I forward. just sent in the cavalry to fight these guys again. Ben sort of doing his own thing. I think he sort of just got drawn into his, what's happening on his screen. Tactical errors made in the planning stage are now having serious consequences. Simon's units on the hill are too far away from the main body of Roman heavy infantry to be supported. And sloppy scouting of the enemy means that unknown to the team, a second wave of Helvetii ambush troops is still waiting to attack. Right, Ben, what I need, I need you to tell me, front to back, exactly what is happening on the left-hand side. Right, so we've got a general here, OK? Moving down the hill, I've got some light infantry. Right, OK? What, one, one, one cohort? Yeah. They've got one legion out twisting in the breeze. It can't be supported by the other legions, and that's a mistake. With more than half his force destroyed, Simon blames enemy numbers rather than the team's tactics. Basically, I think we're just being outnumbered. It seems They're like blaming enemy. the numbers. Julius Caesar always wins in spite of numbers. Because it's this professional army, they have a drill, they have a formation, provided that they hold that formation and mutually support, then they can take on bigger numbers. With half the Roman army reeling from the impact of a Helvetii ambush, Stephen recognizes the danger of a further surprise attack. He scouts round for more enemy troops. Can you shoot through those trees and make sure we haven't got anyone coming in behind us? Into the distance. Further forward and to the right. Okay, further forward. Okay, okay. Now we've got to keep going. We didn't see okay. this. No. Okay, we've got loads of people in the forest here. Keep going. 
he finds the Helvetii infantry, the second wave of the ambush, approaching his flank. Now, hordes of close-quarter combat troops from two allied tribes are heading for the Romans. That is the Tulingi and the Boii, off on the extreme right. Yeah. Coming out of the woods here. Yeah. Dave, these are the ones coming towards you. There's loads of them in the trees. If you can keep going. Okay, they're all over there. Keep going. You weren't expecting that, were you? No, we weren't. The team now need to move quickly to reposition their army against the attack. What are you going to change from the way you were doing it before? What we're going to do is we've got the big group of people over here. At the moment, our troops are a bit like this. So we're going to pull them back into this sort of line, tighten them up with one set behind who are just going to sweep behind if we see any break in, the, uh, break in the line. As the troops in the valley prepare to engage, the Roman force on the hill is losing scores of men. But the battle may still not be in vain. These Roman units are serving two important tasks. They're pinning down the main Helvetii army and taking out a large number of Gauls as they go. They haven't managed to draw Helvetii in close to their main body. That's got to be their main task for them. But because the Tulingi and the Boii have come late to the party, off on the Roman right flank, the team will be tempted to turn away from the main Helvetian army to face this new threat. As the ambush pours out of the forest, Stephen sends three cohorts to meet the approaching troops and keeps the rest of his men facing the hill battle. We need to pull everything together in a line. Yeah, but Stephen's on top of it. He's identified it, he's trying to pull them together, but I just think he's left it too late. The three Roman units prepare to take the full impact of the fierce Gallic onslaught. To have any chance of surviving this terrifying attack, it's crucial that the cohorts maintain formation. For the first time, both halves of the Roman army are engaged. Despite the initial impact of the Helvetii ambush, the cohorts managed to keep formation. It's under good control that Stephen and David are working well with each other, working slightly less well with Simon and Ben. Close them up. Ben, close them up. Fresh, the fresh, the fresh guys infantry. are fighting on the left now. I've sent them to fight on the left. Right, good. Can we send the fresh heavy infantry to fight on the right? Uh, they're, just, they're currently engaged in the left, mate, because the cavalry ran away, which is our last order. So they're having trouble sorting out the big picture, the overall tactical situation, from the little picture. And the generals and the lieutenants are not communicating enough for any one person to have a clear picture of the battlefield. Mate, I've got no idea what's going on. I've, 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 I've had three overhead, white flags, mate. And you're not telling me anything. Uh, ben, talk to me, mate. But other generals doesn't decisions. know what's going on. I can't on. see anything, on. mate. It's, it's all just swooping around. I need an overshot from you guys to tell me Adam, what you've got. Adam, can we go behind our army to the left and give you an overview? Going really well. Guys, I'm getting dicked on over here. Okay, you take the overhead because we're, we're in control over here. Right. Okay. Remember, if you're not happy with the shot, the eyes on the eager it. archers, yeah? Can you just pan a tiny bit left, Adam? Oh, that's much better. Right, Ben, t tell me what we're winning and what we're losing, where, where we need reinforcement. We're losing everything at the moment. However, the Romans on the hill, unable to regain formation, are fighting a losing battle, but still forcing heavy casualties on the Helvetii. They've spread themselves much too thinly. They have. They're not mutually supported. Yeah, exactly. For a smaller force, they've spread themselves too thinly, I think. So they had to concentrate their strength. Yeah, and they didn't. And they, well, really, that whole flank has disintegrated. Yeah. Yeah, he's in a mess, isn't he? They're in a mess. Oh, do we have anyone that's fresh that we can re Only reinforce with? Only the general is fresh. Now, the only effective troops from the hill battle are a unit of general's guards and a handful of heavy foot. We're losing quite badly okay. on the left. I think you need to reinforce okay. us, otherwise okay. we're, we're going to lose back? Our, our whole left bank. With his few remaining troops seriously compromised and the command structure in disarray, the lieutenants are crying out yeah. for orders. Okay, David. Uh, yeah, it's turn to face. Simon makes a desperate final plea to save his men on the hill. Steve, we've got to reinforce Slings, on the left flank. Slingshots, okay. over, over. Wait, otherwise we're going to lose the whole of that side of our army. We're okay. getting absolutely murdered just because there's more of them. Why didn't you pull them out? 
Despite an urgent appeal from his fellow general, Stephen is too busy fighting the ambush troops to commit any men. His decision dooms the Roman soldiers on the hill to certain slaughter. Most of our guys have run away terrified. Okay, I don't care. All the ones that haven't run away terrified, can we pull them back up the hill and okay, regroup? So can we pull the 10 infantry left who are not running away back up the hill? Yes, precisely. The few surviving troops on the hill flee with the Helvetii in hot pursuit. But Ben won't give up and fights to the last. Why have we not fired on the people chasing the general? Lieutenant, okay, so you're getting the orders you need. David, forget them. Ben, can you send the general to his death? Because he's going to get hung he's anyway when he gets back to Rome.